Hello everyone. I just want to start by talking about my daily life. Uh, each day in the morning I wake up, um, I have breakfast, sometimes even I go on because of the rush of life. I just open my eyes, go to school or go to work. After that time pass on and I have lunch, maybe go out with friends, read a book, anything that will waste time till I reach noon, where I just maybe browse the internet, stay over Facebook or something and then I sleep again, and then the rest, all of us know it. Well, you might think why I would start with such a silly entrance, but I would say because simply, this is the life of each one of us. If you thought about it, sometimes, yeah, maybe sometimes it's unique. The way I study, the food I eat, the place I go out with my friends, is different than other places. But at the end, there's some elements together, forming together, with the environment around us, like a nice weather that we can't control, form our daily life. So we can say that our daily life is somehow the same. And we can reach a consensus here that there is a kind of model of our life. Well, they taught us in school actually that there is a human model, but it was this one, this ecosystem. And I think that there's something very important missing here, I think. I think it's maybe us, I think. It's just a bunch of animals, rain, soil, and stuff like this. But as a human being, we are missing here, and this, this teaches us a very, um, a very wrong uh, way of thinking. That this tells us that we are just users, and this is stuff to use. But actually, what what we are here in this world for? Why we are in this world? We can agree that for sure we are created somehow, and we then gain some knowledge. But uh, we only focus always about this stuff how we are created, different religion views, and we focus on what knowledge we should gain, what should I study, what should I do. But we miss that actually the big why question, which is why we are here, is why we are here actually, and the answer is to be productive. You think why I would be productive? Think about the extinct animals. Did we feel anything when dinosaurs, uh, we didn't see dinosaurs anymore? Did our life stop? No, because simply, Either you're created by God if you believe in God, or even if you don't, if this environment created you, there's a reason for that. And if you don't do your functionality, the ecosystem will simply kick you out. Well, you can say as well, eh, there's billions of people, they will be productive enough. And they can just relax and they will do the work. But, uh, well, this won't work as well, because we can all think about the people who die, and after their death, we feel that there's no big change. Nothing happened, and I don't think you would like this to happen with you. So I think we agreed now that productivity is something very important and that we should be productive in life, and this is why we are here in life. And another simple example of science, how did they discover a virus? They didn't talk with a virus. The virus didn't say, hey, I'm a virus. They simply found the function that the virus does. They saw someone ill. So functionality is the most important. It's not the way you look, what you study, how you are created. It's not important. You can be even invisible like a virus. But what you will do is what's Im really important. So now let's see how we could be productive, actually. I, was, I would say there's three simple stuff that can help us to be productive. The first thing we will all like is sleeping. Well, you can think, oh, being productive, we should sleep. But actually, Sleeping well and having a very good sleeping behavior and routine, for sure, it's simply you'll make more energy and you'll be more productive. And there's some even scientific research on that, that they made a, a driving test on people who didn't sleep for a full night and they discovered that they are almost the same results as someone almost drunk. So imagine how much you are productive when you are drunk. I don't think we are so productive when we are drunk. Well. <laughs> Actually, sleeping is more important as well if you care about your life. Because other research were done as well, and they found that the people who sleep less than six hours for a long time, they might uh, have premature death. And don't get me wrong with premature, but it's premature death, okay? <laughs> and uh, for sure, we don't want to die young. So sleeping is now proved that it's important and that it will affect our productivity. The second thing that can help us to be productive is actually happiness. Well, happiness is not that easy as sleeping. I can tell myself I'll go to sleep now, but I cannot tell myself I'll be happy now. It's not something we can control. And that's true. Maybe sleeping well can make us more happy. Ah, when I have a very nice sleep, no stress, 
makes me more happy. But actually what makes me happy more is a belief. And by a belief, I don't mean just religion. Yes, for sure, religion will make you feel more satisfied because if anything bad happened, you will feel that there's a reason behind it. But just have any belief, just a belief in your life. You, you are productive, you work just to make your family better, your friends live better, this world become better. Simply, you are recreated, so anything you will do, anything, no one else can do the same way. And that's, I think, enough to make you satisfied by your life and satisfied that you are someone unique. And this takes us back to happiness, actually, because I said that we cannot order ourselves to be happy. But happiness is very easy to get by putting it in the r good environment that can support happiness. And satisfaction is simply this good environment. Some people say satisfa satisfaction might actually make us lazy and, okay, no need to do anything. But this is not true. And happiness proved as well, there's some research on happiness that um, they made uh, a research on uh, employees and they made a kind of training and treatment for them for happiness and their productivity actually increased by 12%. Well, you can get happiness by any way, either by treatment or even pills, but pills is not very nice because it has its negative side effect. Other thing as well that can help us to be productive, the burning desire. And this actually takes us as well to sleeping well and being happy. It's a desire. Here I would, I would like to say a very nice story. Uh, Socrates, we all know Socrates. A very uh, nice guy, young man, wanted to be successful. He went to Socrates and asked him, you're a wise man, tell me the secret of success. So Socrates told him, okay, let's meet the next day of the morning and uh, let's meet next to the river. When they were next to the river the next day, Socrates took his hand and they walked inside the river till the water was at this level. And then Socrates did something very strange, that he held the, the man's, the young guy, head and he ducked it inside the water. Not for a minute, for a long time, the guy's face started to be blue and he started to struggle. And then he left him. The guy went out of the water and he took a very hard breath. And then asked him, like, so tell me now the secret of success. He told him that there's no secret. The real secret of success is that you want success as you wanted air. And this comes, this word, burning desire. It's not just a desire, I will do this. No. Well, yeah, you, need, you have to need as much as air success. That's a burning desire, it's not just a desire. And if you have a small fire, it doesn't warm me enough. That's like a normal desire. It's not enough. So to increase your chances of success, you have to be pretty sure that you'll do it. You have to be very sure that you can do it, even if you think you cannot. Because this will trigger this burning desire in you. This guy was almost dying under the water, but he was thinking about the air and didn't care about anything around him and had a clear mind for getting an air. Well, you think that this talk until this point, this is just some nice chatting. So I'll tell you an example that I did live in myself. This was my country that I used to live in, and still. This is how the people used to live, uh, torturing, eating. Well, it's not a very nice stuff. But actually, this was their life, a routine life. No one complained. The streets, as you can see, very normal flowing. And no one complained. Till few people went to the streets. And these people are not the poor people, the bad people, actually not at all. But these few people led to this. Millions in the streets, six million persons in the street. And they, they weren't having a kind of ideology. They're from different religions, different views. But they had this burning desire I was talking of. These people did sleep well as well. Yeah, they did sleep under a tank, that's not very nice. But I didn't tell you that you have to ha have a very nice sleeping behavior while you are relaxing in Hawaii. No, life is not that easy. You, you will struggle and you will find barriers. But you have to keep your sleeping routine in a nice way. You have to be happy as well. These people, though they were tortured this way and there's thousands died, they were chanting and they were very happy in the street asking for bread, freedom, and justice. Just three simple words, nothing complex.
And the result that they managed to reach their freedom, they put their president for 30 years in prison. And actually, before coming here, I was just electing in the embassy. So sleeping well, having and being happy and having a very happy life, even under stress, and having a burning desire that will help you to accomplish this is very important. I would finally say that as a human being, and as Gandhi actually said, our secret and our greatness not lies in remarking uh, the world around us and what's happening around us. That's not true. It's about remarking ourselves. So just feel that you are a miracle, that because we are a miracle. And don't keep just your thoughts inside your mind. Act. Because if people did change million, th these people changed 90 million person life. You can change just yourself. I don't, I'm not asking you to change the world. Just change yourself and be productive because you are here to be productive. Thank you.